In this Resolume tutorial, we'll go over some of our favorite tips and tricks. We hope these help with your workflow and maybe shine some light on techniques you may not have known about. The first tip will focus on distributing a number of effects from one clip to another. Rather than drag effects onto clips individually, you can distribute a stack of effects using effect clips. Drag some effects into an empty clip slot. I'll choose some of my favorites. Here we have Auto Mask, Colorize, Delay RGB, and Dot Screen. Let's rename the effect clip to FX. Now let's copy our effect clip to an empty clip slot. Hold Alt or Option on a Mac, click on the clip name, and drag to an empty clip slot. This is so that we always have a master copy of our effects stack. We can now merge this copy of our effect clip with any clip in our composition. Click and drag a clip while holding shift onto our duplicated effect clip. Notice that the text merge appears. Once the clips are merged, the clip you selected will inherit all the effects from the effect clip. Notice how all the effects are now applied to our clip here in the clip properties. With this method, you can repeat this on any number of clips. Make another copy of your effect clip and merge it with a new clip. Keep in mind there is no way to undo this. So create duplicates and always keep a master copy of your effects stack. You'll also have to rename your clip if you care about your clip names. Here's a quick tip for those that may not know about a simple way to remove black backgrounds from your clips. Simply use the auto mask effect. From the effects panel, drag the auto mask effect onto a clip. Let's trigger another clip. Right now we don't see much of a difference and the clip is still blended. This is because layer 2 is not at full opacity. Bring up the opacity of layer 2 to 100%, and now we can start seeing the results. Now you can adjust the contrast parameter of auto mask to get the look that you want. Your results may vary, but it definitely provides great results for clips with high contrast. If you like using dashboard controls to quickly access effects, you can easily save these controls as presets for quick access. Two effects that I frequently use are Hue Rotate and Auto Mask. Let's drag both of these effects to this triggered clip. For Hue Rotate, I use the Hue Rotate parameter to change the color of the clips. Drag this parameter to link one of the dashboard controls. For Auto Mask, the contrast parameter is what we'll use to remove black backgrounds from our clips. Set the parameter to zero, and then drag the parameter name to link to. Now let's save the preset. Under the presets dropdown of Hue Rotate, we'll save this as Control. Let's do the same with Auto Mask. Trigger a new clip. Under the effects panel, we can now see that our preset was saved. Simply drag Control to your clip, and the dashboard control will be set. Use the dropdown under the parameter to change which dashboard control it's associated with. And don't forget to rename it to keep track. Now anytime you want to quickly load up an effect with dashboard control set, our preset is available for easier access. When adjusting parameters, sometimes you need accurate numbers based on calculations. Rather than open up another app or bring out a calculator, Resolume has this functionality built in. To perform calculations, simply type them in directly into the value of your parameter. For example, let's say our event coordinator is using an odd resolution like 3660 by 1225 and needs a half that for our composition. In the composition settings, click on the 3660 value, type a forward slash and 2 to divide in half, hit the enter key. Resolume automatically calculates this value for us. Do the same for 1225, and now we have our resolution set to half of what it was. Use the plus and minus keys to add and subtract, the asterisk to multiply, and forward slash key to divide. These work on any values that are editable in Resolume. If you have different sets of visuals, sometimes it's a hassle to load them into your composition using a file browser. 
we'll show you an easy way to keep things organized and easily accessible. This is a composition we've created with visual sets from our website. We placed each of these visual sets in their own deck and labeled them accordingly. This composition is named Doc Optic Visuals 1080p. By saving this composition, it is now accessible under the Compositions tab in the browser panel. Let's create a new composition. First, let's go into the composition settings and change the size to 1920 by 1080, which is the size of the content we'll be loading. Under the Compositions tab, we can see the different decks with all of our visual sets in the saved composition. What we can do now is simply double click on any of these. A new deck with the name of our set of visuals is created and placed into our composition. You can also drag and drop the name of the deck directly into a clip slot, and it'll load into the deck if it's empty. Dragging it into an existing deck will create a new one. This is just one simple way to keep your content organized and available at a moment's notice. To add a nice punch to your visuals, we'll show you a simple trick using the blur effect. We'll trigger some content that could use a bit of brightening up. Drag the blur effect from the effects panel onto the clip. Next, adjust the opacity to zero and change the blending mode to add. Now we can bring the opacity up until we're happy with the amount of glow on our visual. Don't go past 50 or the effect will diminish. With the Gaussian parameter, we can adjust the softness of the glow and even create a bloom effect. Let's bypass the effect to show you the difference. Lastly, if the add blend mode is brightening your content too much, you can switch to the screen blend mode for a more subtle effect. This is a simple way to add some glow or brighten up your visuals quickly. Save this effect as a preset to quickly add it. This final tip will show you a quick way to create a mask or mat that can be used to display your visuals. This method can be used on any colored content, including your own personal logo. First, let's show how this can work on a logo. Here's an orange version of our Doc Optic logo, which already has a transparent background or alpha channel. Drag the Add Subtract effect to the clip. Simply bring the RGB values up to 1. To use our logo as a mask, we can switch to the Multiply Blend Mode and set it to 50% by right-clicking on the Opacity Fader of Layer 2. Using the 50 Mask Blend Mode works as well. Any content that is triggered below this layer will now be displayed inside of our logo. Now let's create a mask with some colored content. This clip has a black background. The first thing we'll need to do is remove the black with the Auto Mask effect. Drag Auto Mask from the Effects panel onto our clip. Let's bring the contrast up, and as you can see in the preview monitor, our black background is removed. Next, drag the Add Subtract effect to our clip. Bring up the RGB parameters to 1. And just like our logo, we now have an animated mask created from a colored visual. This method works great on content with dark or black backgrounds, so experiment to see if you can make it work. The goal is for our mask to be as white as possible so clips with high contrast tend to work best. We hope these quick tips and tricks help improve your workflow. Check us out at DocOptic.com for more tutorials and content to use for your live visuals. Thanks for watching and don't forget to sign up for our newsletter to stay up to date with our latest tutorials, freebies, and new visuals.